Whatever, we'll get into it. Let's just play a little bit of it. See if you guys like it. I thought I heard a ding. It sounded like very faint, but yeah, I did think I hear it. Heard a ding, so that's my bad if I lied. Okay, so guys, this game has two time skips. Oh God! There's the abilities, by the way. That's what they look like. Cool, if you don't like it, don't even watch. You poor, poor man. This game was... N it might have been, actually. This game may have come out in the 1990s. I definitely played it in the early 2000s. They're probably older than literally all of you. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is your parents, Kyle and Dora. Kyle's really good at earth bending, and he basically is like, I'm going to save people. And, uh... And your mom's just like, I want to go with you. And then she's basically like, you can go on your own, right? You'll be fine. And then he's like, uh... so, so basically what's happening already is there's an avalanche of rocks is happening. Like, and it's a storming. Something bad happened today. We don't know why you just woke up in the middle of the night and this is what's going on. This is Garrett. He's trying to save his things while this avalanche is happening. Yep. Yep. This so we are. So we already have our other first member. I don't really. No, not start. What is start? Enter. No, no, no. There it is. So we have. So we are playing right now as young Isaac and young Garrett. We don't have any synergy. This is when we're kids. So just the, I ain't trying to spoil it, but this is a flashback almost pretty much. We're not allowed to go up there right now. Don't worry. The, the, this isn't a very long segment, but this is just to set up the narrative. This is what we're running away from. They're trying to hold it back. Everybody has this power in our village. That like, when you see that like aura, that sound energy. Is what they call it. These guys are all called adepts. Just think of them as like wizard uh, benders. Can't wait till you guys see Sartorius and uh, Minaria. That boulder almost crushed you. Yeah. If you don't save this guy, he actually dies. So I'm going to save him. Yeah. I didn't mean to say yes. Oh, shit. Uh, oh. <laughs> I was supposed to say no. <laughs> oh, well. I'm pretty sure there's like a flower instead of his life because I said that. Oops. I forgot. I was mashing. I was just going to summarize the text. Okay, so this is what the in game looks like. This is what the HUD looks like. We only have a text. This is the bare bone. Once we actually get in the overworld, it's gonna be like actual abilities. It's not gonna look like crap. It's got 3D models and then like just a PNG background, as well as like, uh. You'll see with the abilities in a second. These are scripted fights, by the way. The, the, the three. The, the wild encounters here. It's just to show you, like, all you can do is fight or defend. You get daggers, equipment, stuff like that. 
I'm pretty sure I can run. Yeah, what am I doing? No way. I guess I forgot that was there. I'm not going to remember everything, but I'm probably going to remember like a lot of the crap. Okay, so, all right, guys, this is where the flashback basically ends, okay? And we'll get to the real game in just a second. So this is Jenna, her parents, uh, your parents, and they're trying to save a boy named Felix who's drowning there on a log. They're basically all out of energy, so they want to use a rope to try to catch him. Jenna and the mom are going to go look for help while they these three stay here with Felix to make sure he's okay. I'll go north, you go south. And she's telling me to go get Jenna as she goes north. I have to go south. Garrett's speed set is trash, dude. Alright guys, I think this is about to be it. We we just need to get a, uh, a muscly guy, I think. There's items and stuff, but I'll pick it up when the tragedy stuff is over. Because once we get free roam, uh, we're going to be doing like a research expedition thing. I just want to get this, uh, uh, this in-log out of the way. So they're going to help with the boulder. And then uh, this guy is charging on a crystal to basically get ready to uh, help with the uh, Felix. I hope everybody was paying attention, because here it is. And if you miss it, you miss it. Oh, well. So we got the guy, right? Uh, that's right. Uh, Jenna's family, Felix, uh, and your dad are already dead. Already. Wow. Yep, they killed him off already. That guy you just saw with the portrait, that cool dude or whatever, he's dead. Did you do it in the water? Gone. Everyone seems so calm about it. Who, me? Because, uh... That's... None of the characters. Oh, they're freaking out about it. I just talked to all of them and you should <laughs> see what they were saying. Oh, but guys, this isn't even the, the craziest part. The people that were responsible for the boulder. Oh. 
They're talking about like stuff in the late game already, basically. Power of alchemy. I'm incredibly lost. Uh, those two, those two are basically talking about that they they basically went to a sacred ground and they messed up by stepping on a trap, and that's what caused this catastrophic thing to occur. Oh. Yep, they're responsible for this. Mm-hmm. And guess what? We were eavesdropping, so. Time to fight! You gotta die. Mysterious man and woman appear with a death scythe and the death blade. <laughs> Firewall, dead. It, it would have been way cool if you guys saw Sartorius' signature, because sometimes he does that. He uh he does Inferno, which is basically oh. him painting the map with, in with fireballs, dude. It's really cool. This is the end of the flashback coming sooner. That's it. Yep, that's the that's the prologue to that game, guys. Uh, so your dad's dead, you the, your friend's dead, and did, and then you guys got knocked unconscious by two mysterious people that are strong <laughs> as fuck that are responsible for it. This is the time skip. This is when the game actually starts. Wow. Yep. Damn. And it's kind of like that for like both games, except everything you guys see in this first one, the second one does. Three times as good. And this... Uh, here's the thing, too. I don't know what Spike said. This, the animation in this game is... What? Come on. The animation in this game ain't bad. I said it aged well. Like, uh, dude... I, I know it looks somewhat like crayons, but we play Roblox games that don't even look as good as this. Like... No cap. I mean, I'm looking at this and I'm in awe of the animation to be honest. I didn't expect to do this. This yeah. game's old as hell. Dude, guys, uh, that was the prologue, but the plot twists don't end until we're out of the first town. Once we're out of the first town, then it's really... Uh, then all the, like, the craziness dies down, and then it's, like, open world. And I literally mean open world. This game had open world. Because, like, like, it's got a linear story it's telling, but if you do, like, like I said, if you help people or do whatever, you get more gear. And then the second one, you get more abilities. So it's even better. And summonings. You get a lot of summonings in that one. This one has, like, no summonings in it. These two are just arguing about him pushing that log on the flowers, but he was just training. Yeah, this is like probably in the top 10 of my favorite games of all time. I always gassed it up when we played Smash Bros. That's why Isaac's my character, but it's just literally because, dude, this game's about to be fun. It's when we get to like, I don't know, man. It, it's always fun, but I, dude, I want you guys to see some of these uh, twists and turns uh, that the show that it takes you. I, it's not a show, but you get what I'm saying. It, once we like, you guys won't make it for this, so I might clip it so you guys see it. Um, once we get into the sanctuary, because that's where the next destination is. We're actually going into the place that caused the storm, and we have to f solve the puzzles that those late game people couldn't follow. But the difference is, and just to give you guys some incest or whatever. Or inside, I mean, not incest. Uh, uh, those two characters that you guys saw are only fire. They're just think of them as like the fire nation or whatever. They're only fire abilities, while we have earth and fire, so we can do different things. Like, and, and that's like a key thing in this to have like a a lot of different abilities rather than just be powerful in one.
This is Can just you some stuff other than just earth and fire, or are you stuck with earth and fire? For right now, we actually have two fires. The girl is a fire, and then the guy is a fire, and then the main character is earth. Oh. Yeah. And then, so uh... It's different elements for different people, you know. It's complicated. for one. It's kind of complicated because gins, gins are little creatures that we can put on our characters to change which what abilities cool. they can do. Cool. So, like, if I give my Earth character a fire gin, I have plant abilities for some reason. So it's actually a little bit more layered than that. But the second game does it even better. Like, uh. I forget which class it is, but when I get into the gladiator ring really late in this game, a popular class people like to do is ninja. And you'll some spawn ninjutsu. Like, you'll do a shuriken and bamboo shoots on people, as well as illusion techniques with agility. Bruh. Yeah. But you could also just stay earth elemental and just do shake the ground, big sword. Like, like you can play this game like a fucking baboon, which is what I did in my first playthrough. And then a couple of playthroughs later, I was just like, it's a little awkward, but let me try out some of the other cool abilities. And you guys will probably see me tinkering around with it just to keep myself entertained. Oh, by the way, all your guys is missing here is... Uh, Isaac repaired the roof, and they're just having some nice, like, slice in life, like, talks about the situation, but, like, they're trying to get along or whatever. So she fell off the roof, and he just says, look, like, I'm fine, and then he made a hole in the roof or whatever. It's just, it's just, just slice of life stuff. There, it's, like, it's got a couple nuggets of it, but, uh, the action is pretty quick so I just want to get kind of past it just so you guys don't miss anything and what an idiot as you guys can see Garrett's like the clown of the group uh, Jenna's like hot spirited like I don't know older sister I guess and then and then you're the quiet protagonist now I will say, guys, uh, this game had a third one, and it has a it has like one of those time skips when they're in their like 30s and stuff. So like certain characters do there are like uh, there are characters they get with others, and it does make the, like the kids are the the ones in the third one. I won't say who, just to let you know in case you think everybody's okay by the end of this. So if a Earth element. And a fire element has a kid. What element does a kid get? So, uh. It would be like a dominant recessive type thing where it, the dominant trait would become the kid's element, or would it be a mixture of the two? They, they get both. That's what it is. Oh. It's, a Bor it's a Boruto thing. It's a, uh, you get everything oh. under the sun. So I could go into every one of these little houses and steal from people with like the pottery and whatnot. Uh, but you get a thing called reveal later, which lets you see all things. So I'd rather just wait for that. But it's a really good game thing. And then by then, the items are kind of useless. But I don't want to raid everything. Oh, look, guys. Look who's back. So if you can breed your kids to have the same elements as you, then technically you can breed your kids to have all elements. And then they just become super powerful. As far as the continuity is. But by the time we get to the third game, Ocat, there's the light uh, adept and the dark adepts. That's why I wanted a fourth game. I wanted to, I wanted to play as the dark and light adepts. You only get to fight against them. And uh, if we make it to the end of this, I'll talk about how... how how, how this game's, uh, the conclusion to this game was, like, left ambiguous, but literally the third one left with a the end question mark. So if they left it on just the two games, it would have been a little more, uh, like, efficient. 
and people could just be like this was a good game for its time but because they added the third one and a bunch of stuff in it people are like wait what he lived 